Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about the end of the year and the new year. And the message I kept getting were the lyrics from the song that a lot of us play at New Year's parties, uh, on the television, it's on shows, Old Acquaintance Be Forgot. And this is old remembrances, old timelines, behavioral patterns, and mostly male-female dynamics. And many, many people are finding that they're all too ready to shut the door on 2016. And there are things we're putting away forever. We are putting away the shiny objects, things that we thought were very interesting and flattering. And we're putting away all of the false glamour, the dark stuff, and the cheap frizzons of a thrill. And we are packing up that all, putting it, pulling the strings closed so it doesn't disturb us anymore. We're closing it and we are firmly closing the door, sealing up 2016 and closing it. We are slamming the door on 2016. Now, what is this going to look like and feel like? Now, for a lot of you, you've been doing a lot of work with your family, a lot of work on your twin, and you're thinking that it's really not somehow showing something in the physical. For some of you who are physically together, you're finding that you're having repetitive patterns. That's what's being put behind us. So all of the old acquaintance, and if you are a Blu-ray, You'll actually find you might be pulling away from other twin flames rather than gathering together because the focus is on the unions. The focus is no longer going to be on groups or groups of people that help each other. There's a real splitting off with people being in their union. It's important to focus on your own true love story because that is the fun and the romance and adventure that a lot of you have felt is lacking. This is especially true of people who've met in the course of some professional context with their twin. If you've met at work, if you've met where your twin is some type of professional to you, and they've managed to keep a professional appropriate distance from you, as appropriate in an old manner, and yet how do you get that out of that context and into your brand new life? That's some of what's going to come up here. The old air is closing and you're here to be living free, living free and living in love. The way has been set in place for the way out and the way out is each other. Like it or not, you are each other's ticket to ride out right out of here. A lot of people don't hear this. A lot of people don't feel it yet. You will. And a lot of you are pining for it. Every single cell in your body is screaming for touch. And I'm going to say this. Soulmates are not going to be able to get you out of here. Soulmates are not going to be able to give you the mind-blowing out-of-body experiences. They won't. You'll be back to living in the ice age in a cave with a roof over your head. And sometimes that's fine for people because that's where they're at. But I want to also address that. You are learning about your light body and learning goes beyond a one-time check-in on your union or an energy report. Energy reports are fine and dandy, but it's going to be the difference between living in the weather living in the cosmic weather and the energies, or living it, okay? It's going to be the equivalent of maybe watching it, sitting in your living room watching, you know, something tropical, or, you know, seeing someone on a sailboat and the wind is going through their hair, or 
living the experience that you're intended for. Living together means living in each other. So you have people that have already gathered what they need around them. And they are very much expecting their twin. But what you're going to find is that living together actually means living in shared body parts. You are sharing. And now this couple doesn't mind because they're nice and cozy. But it's taken a little bit to hold their high vibration so that they're both comfortable. They're both comfortable. This requires getting rid of the toxic things, pushing it out, purging it out, Sometimes getting ill from it and pushing it out so that you can feel again. This is going to involve the toes, the heart connection, the eyes, and pretty much up here. And that is another thing. Um, living in each other. Pacing yourself while coming into one is important. You're not going to, you'd love to get here overnight and be swooning with each other and twirling in the colors and going out of body, and you will. But for those of you who are seraphim who possibly have not done what we are doing on another planet as a Blu-ray has, you will be brought through it step by step. That is why all of the old acquaintanceships, the old relationships, the old patterns, behaviors need to be forgotten and really removed from the mental, emotional body and the ego mind. The ego is dissolving. By the end of 2017, those of you in the first wave will not be living from your ego. You will be living and steering and directing and creating everything from your heart, from the causal body. And that doesn't mean cause and effect. That means that you're coming out of all the little compartments where you've had to, you know, contain. And some of these compartments have been work, sex, and then there's family. You know, these, these compartments mean different things to different people. And that's gotten people by. But it's not really going to get people by for very much longer, not going beyond 2017. So there's also a grace period with this, as with most things. So even though the door is firmly slamming shut, and it might be a gentle but firm closing for people, you're not going back there. There's no going backwards. This retrograde that we're in right now, this um, Uranus, Nibiru, Pluto energy that is bringing in those parts of your twin that have been healed off planet and that are ready for integration requires you to receive. I talked about that. Be the receiver twin. Some of you are the receiver twin. And some of you, your twin has literally been unpinned from the matrix. And they're you know, dangling there like this, except they're not really dangling. You are the one who is assisting them. You really are. If you balk at this, if you become angry, that's what stops it. Now, another thing to know, and this is sometimes where people find that if someone says something and says, your twin will never be with you. That upset of the heart is so upsetting. Why? Because it's your truth that you're together, that you will be together, that you'll be living with each other because in the physical body is the only way that we are anchoring this and lifting off. This is from the ground level up, even while all of your connections and footholds have been made here. You're getting the soul group off of you. You're getting the collective off of you. Whatever they think, whatever they think you are, whatever they think your twin is or isn't doing. It's going to be you who knows your own truth and your true love story. So if you're going to people that are not really able to assist you, where there's actually two of you, whether it's uh, you know someone that they may not be aware 
You know, they may be trying to help you with something completely unaware that you have another person that you're attached to. And furthermore, that you're not only attached to that person, but you share subtle bodies. So everything is coming in so it can blast open again. And that's what happened to some of you. You met your twin and your life blasted open. Just things blasted open. All of a sudden you knew stuff. You started searching. You started doing research. What is this? But now you're going to know through your body. No one is left out. There are some people that leave themselves out of this or talk themselves out of it or love living in uh, you know, areas where it feels safe to them, that feels safe, because there is a lot of fear of the unknown. But you don't have to be afraid of a blank canvas. It's a blank, empty space that you are creating in. All is in divine time and order. Now, as you go through this, and some of this may be new for some of you, some of you are just finding out what this is. So you're the ones I'm talking to. I'm not talking about the people who are Blu-rays and know that, you know, this is it. That's like preaching in the choir. But there are people who are just finding this out, just finding out what is it that um, you really, really are here for that it really really is one person it really really is one true love and it's going to become more pronounced it is going to become much more delightful for you you're going to become aware of yourself in ways that you never even believed were you and you'll go from saying is this my life to wow this is who i really am this is who we really are that's what I'm here for. I'm not here for all the stuff that I put into that box. I'm not here for politics. I'm not here for this organization. I'm not here for this thing, that thing. I'm here for us. Now, um, the main thing for you to do is to focus. That means focus on your union, focus on your other, and feel. Now, as you're doing this, here becomes some of the challenges that people aren't always aware of. They'll focus on that person only to find that they have stomach aches or foot aches or their ankle hurts. And what you're actually doing are releasing old connections. You're re if the stomach hurts, you're releasing fighting, arguing, parts of the soul group, maybe militaries that you've been a part of in different lifetimes. And yet when it gets real queasy and makes you sick, what do you do? You are detoxing. So I want you to feel good and feel your union. I have two things that help with that. One is the universally free to fly that I have. This is especially helpful for mental, emotional parts of you that need not just adjusting, but clearing. When you wake up with mental confusion, scatter, if you're feeling doubt, if you're feeling doubts caused by the collective, is this my twin? Is that my twin? Maybe there's more than one twin. Is there? Why would I feel this? Try this out. This is here to help you clear the mental, emotional parts of you. Bring your own higher energies in. Clear out the stuff that you don't wish to carry with you. And there's a, an important reason, and I've said this before, but while you may have had this much time, your twin has this much time. This is going to go on through the month of January for metaphysical body preparation so that you can be with each other. And it's, it's not going to easily happen if you're in a marriage, if you're in a relationship that's not your twin. If you have other people around you, it's going to be hard to hold your high vibration while other people are thinking things. That's the number one thing that clouds the radar. You have trouble tuning into your twin. Why? It's interference from other people. They don't mean to. It just happens. And how do you get yourself above it? You're not here down here with the radio waves. Okay, you're above that. And you want to get yourself above that and get the things, the messages, the information, the light 
information, the love that is intrinsically you two, not someone else's, not someone else's ideas or concepts or beliefs. Ego neuroses, the neuroses, the uh, emotional disturbances, things that people would call ADD, ADHD, things like that, where you feel scattered, you feel like there's a slideshow that whizzes past. How do you do this? It's through your body. And there's two of you. So a seven chakra based system is not going to cut it for you, especially if you're an illumined twin flame couple. Your twin may not know it, but you may know it. Addictions, fears, especially financial fears, low esteem issues, guilt, shame, judgment, blame, um, obligation, duty, all of the things that are just sort of low level emotional spectrum stuff because they start to come up. The cork is off. You're, you're beginning to pull this stuff up and away from each other. That's what you help each other with. That is how twins work in tandem with each other. So twin flame union, it's a closed system. If one is angry, do 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 and if you're in a separation and your twin feels it and the pressure, guess where they want to go shove it? They want to go release it, usually sexually or usually with some other person or they'll get in a fight or they'll fight you or they'll go pick up something that they've coped with. You want to remove all of these old go-to coping things because they will not be a way to cope at all in 2017. How you help them with this? How do you help them from feeling afraid that they'll fight you? What if they're afraid of themselves and they're afraid they're going to mess it up and they're afraid that they're just not good enough for you? Please help pull them up, buoy them up so that you two are free to fly. That's what this is all about. In addition to this, it includes about heart communication. Heart communication is not telepathy and it is the angel voice. It is the angelic way of speaking and communicating with your other, especially when you're not in these bodies. So if the communications have shut down via email text, good, good, leave it. Focus on your heart, learn how to do it. It will serve you well. Also light body and transition. This is especially helpful if you are detoxing and especially if there is drinking in either of your families, in your lineage, and daily living. So I have a little story about my family. My dad, his dad used to drink quite a bit. In fact, he was um, destroyed by it. He was the type of person that didn't want to bother anyone. So he would disappear for six months at a time. And my father, as a child, you know, grew up with an absentee parent here and there. And, and yet he was always around. Um, he would come in for, you know, occasions, the holidays, birthdays, etc. But finally he killed his liver. And so this runs in the family. It runs on the Irish lineage side. And, you know, it might skip a generation here or there. And I did a lot of healing work with this. But one day we were cleaning out the attic and found this. And what this is, is back in the 40s when my dad was a kid, they would record, they had no, it was really expensive to make a long distance phone call. So they would record this, they would record a message or a, essentially a phone call onto a record and then the place for nickel would mail the record to the person. Well, we found this. It was a message from, it was my dad, my dad's father bringing him to this little booth to record a message to my grandmother, his mom. And I went, I found a guy in California who transferred this, improved the sound and put it on a disc and I mailed it to my dad. And when my dad heard his father with him saying, say, hello, mommy, melted. 
years of resentment, anger, angst, um, deprivation, loneliness, the missing, the imagined childhood that he thought he should have had. He didn't really have a deprived childhood. He just had an alcoholic absentee parent. Years of it melted away with the sound of the voice. And it's through some of these simple means that us Blu-rays have healed and paved the way. I'm telling you, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. A lot of the ways have been set in place by Blu-rays. But the way is through the body. It is through the clearing out of the things that have been attached to you and angers, resentments, outrage, um, the things of the mind, the things that other people tell you you should be upset about or tell you that you shouldn't love that person. If you have people that are saying about your twin flame, why do you still care? Look at that person. Why, why don't you say to them, but I love them. I love them. I know who they are. I know who they are. They're not this. They're not this. They're not any of that. They don't live in a box. They live inside me. When you criticize them, you're criticizing me. And it's, some of this is going to feel very, very real for you. How do you get rid of these repercussions from other people's thoughts, beliefs, what they may have experienced, their disappointments, why would you give in to their disappointments in love? Because they haven't seen and they haven't felt yet. Okay? No one is left out. Their time is coming. It is coming. It's not here yet. They might not be in their divine timing. You are. You are. So you're getting ready. And a lot of people, they've been feeling their inspirations. Why? Because 2017, they've got to properly support themselves so they can be in their union. What that means is they've got to have something where they're not living in the gutter, that they have some ways of having time and enjoying and being flexible. So this young man, he is very much started being a producer. He has been finding talent and nurturing it, and his connections up here are paving the way for him okay not down here not 3d networking not any of the old ways you're letting go of all of the old era electric masculine and electric feminine ways of doing things all of the old acquaintance no more old networking no more old anything little by little it's going to flit away and she's been feeling her steam as ooh, she's a designer she barely has anything, but things are starting to come in. She can start doing, and you know what? They're, they will be together. They complement each other. They're both in the artistic realms. They have both thrown off the shackles of any perceived prisons that they have, any of the old boxes that they've lived in, and they are becoming very free to fly. And whether or not they wind up working together, time will tell. Time will tell. They can create anything. The entire universe is their oyster. So I just want to wrap this up. A lot of you know these words. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot in days of old lang syne? And there's like entire verse on this. It's old English. A lot of people don't understand it. I'm interpreting, I'm having my own interpretation with the way it felt when I received the words. All of the old acquaintanceship, the things you've known, the things you've been taught, the patterns, the dynamics we flopped into, they're all being closed up for good 
a lot of it needs to stay there. Being new means you will be new in new levels. You'll create from a new place. It's not down here, it's up here. It's by focusing on each other. That's what's going to magnetize all the good stuff that you want around you. Not by focusing on other people and helping them with their stuff. Help your twin. Help each other. Even when you don't believe that that person can possibly be helping you. They are. Not only that, they're you. <laughs> this, is, this is something that people forget. When you see that mirror and you say, you know, I'm seeing this stuff, you're here to remove it. Remove it. Get rid of all of the stuff. Get rid of the hang-ups. Get rid of the issues. Get rid of the wounds. Heal it. All right, there's been a lot of help to do this. Avail yourself of it. Now, for this um, holiday, for New Year's, a lot of people are really happy to see 2016 go. A lot of you can look forward to 2017. There's a lot that's going to go on. There's going to be more people awakening. There are going to be more people that love your stuff, too. There are going to be more people who are having their love, their golden love child. Those kids are not going to come in here without the mommy and the daddy being ready. Whether those parents are male-female, female-female, male-male, because yes, some gay and lesbian and transgender people will be parents to children. There's a lot of unwanted children. And those people will and be enabled to feel who is their lost child. Those children will be absorbed into some family somewhere. There are things to look forward to because everyone here is pretty much dumping off their karma right now. But in the new, we're no longer dumping off karma. Okay? That's the two places that people are living in. There's people still working through their stuff, and there's people who are living new and wild and free like nature. So, Thank you so much. I wish you a happy new year. Take it easy. Be willing to receive. If you are feeling to stay put, be isolated. If you're feeling that, you're going to be receiving. Go with it. Trust yourself. Trust your heart guidance. If you need further assistance, try my things. The link is below. Anything and everything is already available to you. It's up to you to pull it out, play with it, and continue expanding and putting yourselves together. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Thank you to everyone that I've met over the past year, over the past several years. There's going to be a lot more things that happen. I don't know it all. It's continually being revealed. Even when we try to race forward, sometimes you get those signals of stay put, enjoy what's here, receive, receive, okay? So that's my message for today. Um, be good to yourself, be good to each other. Don't overindulge in too much of anything. If you have any of this drinking in your family, you might want to not add alcohol for this holiday. Be willing to receive something a little bit higher, okay? Because all of those false highs and kicks, they're not going to hold a candle to what you have in store for you. All right, bye now. Thank you.